Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Great Value, which is the Walmart brand. This is the steak, egg, uh, steak and Egg Bowl. It's potatoes, eggs, steak, and cheese in a bowl. Um, we bought this at $2, of course, at Walmart. It is a 7 ounce or 198 gram meal. So $2, that's not too awfully bad. 370 calories for the whole bowl. And there's your other info for you. So micro direction is the only thing I see on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove from the carton, puncture the film, microwave in high for three and a half minutes or until product is steaming throughout, remove film and stir and let set for one minute. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, these are frozen, of course. So poke a hole in it, three and a half minutes. So you have a nice pull tab, makes it easy to grab. Okay, there it is. I'm going to poke a hole, get a fork. What's going to poke a hole in it and I'll get it in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and I'll let it sit for a minute. I'm going to stir it really good. i tell you what, it shrunk up quite a bit um, compared to what's well, not a full thing. The steak shrunk up, I think, more than anything. It, it looked like it dried out a bit. It smells really good though. It smells like actually grilled steak like you'd have on the grill. So I'm going to let this cool off for probably just, um, I mean, just long enough for me to get set up on the table and I'll be back. All right, so I literally just set the camera, came over here, got a fork full. Here's the bottom I'm going to take. It's got potatoes, steak, and eggs on it. So here we go. The steak did get a little tougher, I think, just from in the microwave. Um, from my microwave, I've got a pretty good microwave. From my microwave, things do cook pretty quickly, so... Even though it said 330, I would probably drop that down to maybe 320. Oh, that bite's pretty tender. I think it was just the ones that were on the edge that got a little tough. I really like the flavor of it though. It really does, it has that grilled steak flavor and it's seasoned just a touch, um, which is probably just salt and pepper, but it has just a touch of seasoning to it. I like the texture of the potatoes. They're cooked well, they're not hard. Um, they're very soft. The scrambled eggs have a good texture to them. They're not um, rubbery. Even the bigger hunks like this aren't rubbery and dry, which sometimes eggs get like that. I think it's a pretty good meal. They could have left the cheese out probably completely because I don't really taste the cheese at all. I don't get the I don't get the texture from the cheese. I don't really get much from the cheese, but the um, everything else is really really good. I don't. The only thing they could have done better is maybe seasoned it just a little bit more. It's kind of just all one flat flavor. Um, the meat is good, but it, it could have used a little more than salt and pepper. It's, it tastes really good. Don't get me wrong. I said it, it has a good seasoning to it. It's good flavor. But um, to step it up to the next level, they could have seasoned the whole thing just a little bit more. Maybe maybe put some peppers and onions in there. That would have like put it up to the next level too if they put a little bit of peppers and onions in there. It really doesn't have any of that stuff, so it's, it's missing some of that extra flavor. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I do really like it. I think it's some really good uh, flavors. I think the price is good. You get quite a bit of food. You may want a piece of fruit or a, a little piece of candy or something afterwards to, just to add on to it. But I think it's good the way it is. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. 5 would have been probably if they added peppers and onions in it would have been probably a 5. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.